What's going on guys, I'm Steve, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button, trust me you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to talk about a story, man, out of Cleveland, uh, I must say Cleveland, Texas. Cleveland, Ohio, shout out Cleveland. And uh, it's about this man up here, man. This brother's name is Slammin' Sammy Spain. This guy ran a barbecue uh, business where he parked his uh, barbecue grill out there in Cleveland amongst other business owners that had businesses. Lately, his uh, business has taken a turn because some thieves came and stole his barbecue grill. And this guy has been running his barbecue stand for a while and he's well known in Houston. I mean, in Houston, in Cleveland. And uh, I'm going to let him tell his story, but I want you to look at his reactions when he's talking about it. And you can see it deeply hurt him. This man put his life's blood into an honest business and to have some thieves come and steal his barbecue grill. It's truly sickening to me, man. Take a look at this. Caught on camera, thieves driving off with a mobile barbecue grill and for the owner, that means he's out of business. 19's Vic Gideon talked to him as the community is now rallying to help. Hmm. Numb, empty. An emotional slam in Sammy Spain, walking the corner where his barbecue grill sat for 15 years, towed to events all over the area or serving people in the neighborhood with the signature phrase, pick it up. The grill is a barbecue business. With no grill, no barbecue business. She's the owner of the Rosa Shan across the street. Business owners on Cedar Avenue in the shadow of the Cleveland Clinic came together immediately, trying to help by pulling surveillance video. Thursday evening, about 9.30 p.m. The recording shows thieves hitching the grill to a truck and driving off. Come along and just take something somebody done built for years. Especially They're the doing the community a disservice. Shame on you all. Mm-hmm. Friends, neighbors, and loved ones asking around and looking at local scrapyards. How much would you give for that grill? And I couldn't believe it. $25. Despite the loss of the grill, everyone associated with Sammy says they're holding out hope. I don't know what I'm going to do at this moment. But it's not the end of Slam and Sammy. Not the end, but a big detour in the road for Sammy. I'm hoping somebody would speak up and say, it's here, I got hope. And then they call us and say, pick it up. Vic Gideon, 19 News. All right, guys, that's the story, man. That's a sad story. I'm going to be honest with you. One of the reasons why I don't be dealing with race and calling people racist and dealing with that goofy stuff right there, a lot of people get caught up in, is because don't nobody do you worse than your own people, especially when you're black. And I'm keeping it real. I'm sure those people that did that know him. Not personally, they probably was customers. You can't have a barbecue grill sitting out there for years and everybody knows that that's something that you don't touch because it's good for the neighborhood. He's a small business owner. And for some people to come out there and take it, you can't tell me they didn't know what he was doing or how long he was out there. Somebody came up with that plan, let's get his thing. Now you hear the lady talking about, oh, if they scrap it, it'll be worth $25. Let me explain something to you. That's a barbecue grill, a seasoned barbecue grill, well seasoned. They not taking that and selling that for no scrap. They not gonna go, them grown men, them wasn't little boy, little kids, those was grown men and they had a plan. They took that grill, and either they're going to use it, repaint it and all this other stuff and use it, or they're going to sell it to somebody else far from where Cleveland is to take away people looking for it. That's real. That's how I see it. This man is an older man. Did you see his reactions when they first put the thing on? He put his hands up, just swung his arms and had to walk off. His dream 
became a reality. He wanted to serve the community through food. His love of food, thus spreading that love to people. And people supported him. He was out there for years, they said, an extended period of time. People were supporting him, and he was servicing the community. Something good. And to have it taken away from him, it's wrong. It is. I'm a business owner. And I feel for him. That barbecue pit is a powerful tool or the most important tool he has to continue his livelihood at an older age. Sure, he got grandkids. He probably want to pass that down. And it's something he can pass down. And it's good for the city of Cleveland. And here comes some ninjas coming and messing it up. And that's the thing. People be so selfish and opportunistic. They don't care about the hole in somebody's heart that they leave, whether they're taking something from them, whether it's their life or it's an inanimate object that a person needs for their survival. They just come and take it and they feel like they got a right to rob you. And that's the part I don't like. And that's the part that's messed up. People that do this type of stuff, when something's done to them, they up in arms. They want blood. They, they, they've been done wrong. Well, karma uh, uh, is real. And this type of stuff come back on you for doing that. It's heartbreaking. That's his passion. His passion. He's passionate about something. Had a dream. Fulfilled it. He's exercising his passion and it's something that benefits not only him, but other people in the community. And to have some pieces of shit come and take that from him is heartbreaking to me. It is absolutely heartbreaking. There's some people don't, don't deserve the same air that all of us share and breathe. Proof of it is a lot of them try to take it, the breath from your lungs whether they stealing from you or trying to take your life through possessions that you have. We got very serious problems out here. Just because he's a business owner and a small business owner at that don't make it no different than a multi-million dollar company. He's still doing his part in trying to make that city great. Now, they probably showed this thing one time on the news. That's why I picked this story up. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, stuff like this, from a common sense standpoint and the standpoint of us, uh, uh, of what it does to a person, should be pushed out there. I hope that city of Cleveland rally around this guy, especially those patrons that recognize him and like this food and respect him as the man that he is. Them public officials need to do something too. Now that barbecue grill costs thousands of dollars. But I mean, with the city and all of this type of stuff with the money, they need to do something where they should compensate him and say, you know what, Slam and Sammy, we got your back. We'll see how this go. That whole thing is foul, 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 foul. And somebody need to be ashamed of themselves. But nowadays, we're dealing with people, a lot of people that are shameless individuals and they think they got it off. Sickening. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.